Good evening, everybody. How are y'all doing? It is Wednesday. Yay. Uh-oh. Comments look like they're frozen again. Hopefully that gets fixed sometime and I can see what you guys are saying. Give it a second, see if it refreshes. Today we are going to talk about how to wade through all of the different things that you probably feel like you need to work on. <clears throat> all right. Um, if you're making comments, I can't see them. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... I guess I can't do that. I was going to say, I have another machine here. Hold on. Let's try this. If I open this one. I'm going to say I'm going to log into my other machine and then I can see if you guys are commenting. And then we can actually have a dialogue because this is about back and forth, right? This isn't just me talking, although that does tend to happen often. Uh, no, we don't need to restore. Let's go to Facebook. Uh, technology. I just got to make sure this is muted. I don't need to hear myself since I'm the one talking. Hope everybody is having a good week. And all right. There's the live. Let's click on that. Let's go live. Let's go. It's loading. We're almost there. We're almost there. All right. Okay. I can see comments. Hey, look at that. Um, hey, let's see. We got Teresa, Barb, Carla, Teresa, Renee. All right. Nail biter. That's right. It's nail biter. What's going to happen? Oh my God. Okay. Um, hi guys. What's going on? Let's see if I can open this up here. All right. Here's what, we're, here's, here's what we got. You're probably new. To fitness you might be new to nutrition you might be new to whatever this 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 kind of process works for anything that you're new to and you're trying to figure out where do you go from where you are all right we're going to focus per, per specifically on fitness and kind of figuring out how do i start from nowhere you maybe have never been to a gym you may have never worked out before it may have just been a long time and you're really out of shape and you don't know what to do to get started uh, we're not going to talk about like things we've talked about in the past, how to look for a program, what kind of coaching, what kind of program works for you, that kind of stuff. We're going to talk about more uh, of the process of figuring out of all of the things that you had to work on. How do you prioritize what you should work on first when there seems to be so many things, right? I feel weak in my upper body. I don't have any energy. My hips are tight. Um, my ankle hurts. My shoulder hurts when I do stuff. Um, I'm not, I don't have strong enough legs. I feel like I really want to be able to do sit-ups, but I can't do sit-ups. I want to work on push-ups, but those are hard. Uh, just, just the list goes on and on and on. All the things, as you try to make the changes, as you try to get into a habit of fitness, you're faced with all of these things that you feel like you can't do. That can be hard. It can be challenging. It can be frustrating. I totally get it, Okay. Guys, here's a thing. Here's a here's a kicker. Here's the thing to remember about this. 
change your mindset around things that are challenging, change your mindset around things that you can't do, because here's a fact, there will always be something that you can't do. There will always be something that is hard to do. There will always be something that is a challenge. That's what makes us better. If we are never challenged, we never have a reason to get better and improve ourselves. Okay. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. The fact that you are looking at things that you're trying to do and getting frustrated because you can't do them is a good thing. You are yearning for and trying to strive for bettering yourself, improving your quality of life. That's what we want. That's the mindset you need to have. Don't let it get you down and turn it into something that defeats you and makes you stop. Okay. You want to, you want that challenge. I'm telling you, you want that challenge. It has to be there in order for you to move forward. Okay. So. First thing, first lesson when it comes to all of these things that you feel like you have to get done, embrace it. Absolutely embrace it. Okay. I've been doing this hardcore, hardcore ish. Um, I've been doing this as kind of my lifestyle, let's call it that way, um, for 10 years. Okay. I, I, I turned 49 tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow's my birthday. I turned 49 years old. All right. I started just a little over 10 years ago. I think it was 38 when I got started in fitness. Um, and Gosh, the number of things that I can do now that I couldn't do 10 years ago is crazy. The list is, is enormous, okay? The number of things that I still want to do, the number of things that I still look at, I wish I could do that. I need to figure out how to do that. I need to practice that. I, I, it's still pretty big. It's, it's enormous. It's not going away anytime soon. That's what the process is about. It's not about perfection. You never reach a goal and then you're done. You reach a goal and you identify another one because there's always going to be something that you can do to get better, okay? Just accept it. That's what life is all about. That's what makes you great because you're doing something to get better consistently when most people are just sitting on the couch, all right? So it's happening, all right? Um, just looking at notes real quick. About other stuff. Okay, good. So I don't need to worry about that right now. All right. Um, all right. So the first thing is accept it, embrace the challenge, right? It's there for a reason. It keeps you moving forward. The second thing to think about, um, there are innumerable number of things that you could start on. Um, you really have to go back to the same question that everything always goes back to. What's your goal? Where are you trying to go? If your goal is to um, let's take something simple. If your goal is to get back in a pair of clothes that you wore in high school, okay, then you need to kind of backwards plan from that. Yes, there's fat loss involved. Yes, there's things that you want to do. Do you want to just fit in the jeans? Do you want to make those jeans look good? Big difference, okay? Most people think about just getting in the jeans. I would say consider making those jeans look good, right? In order to do that, you need to get some shape in your body. You need to build some lean mass. You need to get that booty popping. You need to build your quads, build your hamstrings, build your calves, okay? So there's a level of detail that you need to think about when you're talking about what your goals are because that detail, here's the kicker, that detail is going to give you a direction and where you need to focus your energy. If your goal is generic, then your path will be generic. If your goal is detailed, then your path will be focused and you will get there faster, okay? The level of detail that you put into your dreams, the level of detail that you put into your goals makes a huge difference in how you determine the path to get where you wanna go, okay? So step number two, give yourself detailed goals, all right? Uh, whatever those goals are, the more detail you have, the better your plan is gonna be. If you need to get down in your lose body fat so you can fit in the jeans and you want to make them look good, then I need to build muscle. If I need to build muscle, I need to start working out. I need to start eating more lean protein. So there's some sub goals, some little things that you can start doing in your life, right? Um, if I'm starting to work out, hey, I noticed that when I try it, when I squat, um, I can't get all the way down in my squat. I'm not getting the full action, the full range of motion. Um, I identified the reason I talked to coach Bronson. He said, he looked at a video of me. He said, your ankles are tight. That's preventing you from getting into a low squat. You need to work on ankle mobility, loosen up your ankles. That's a goal. So one of the goals, one of the things that you can implement in your daily life is ankle mobility. That gives you something that you can do to fix, to address that goal. 
you don't need to worry about, hey, I also can't do a push up. Hey, I can't do a sit up. Hey, I'm not able to do pull ups yet. I can't run a mile, whatever. Prioritize and focus on the things that that we're going to get you moving forward. If you let yourself get bogged down in all of the issues and things that you want to fix, then you're never going to go anywhere. You have to pick one. What is the most important thing to me right now? Right now, it's springtime. It's getting to be summer. I want to make these jeans look good. Shorts look good. Bathing suit look good. Shirt look good. Whatever it is. Okay. So these are things I need to do to make that happen. Yes, I know that I can't do a push-up right now. That's cool. I can scale it. I can get push-ups done in a workout. I can modify as needed. That's awesome. I'm doing something more than I did before. I really want to focus on getting these pants to look good. Right? Now, you get to that point. These pants look fantastic. I guarantee you in that process, here's the third thing, third thing to remember, okay? In that process of you doing what you need to do to get those pants to look good, I guarantee you, you will be closer to your goal of getting push-ups by the time that happens. Because working towards one goal, particularly in fitness, working towards one goal pulls every other goal along with it. It's a it's crazy. If you are doing what you need to do to make those jeans look good, to make those pants look good, I guarantee you your in your endurance is going to be increasing because of the work you're doing to make that happen. Your strength is going to increase. Your ability to understand how your body moves, your central nervous system's response to training and recovery, right? Your nutrition, all of these things get better, which means when you get to the point where you're ready to focus on another goal, you're, you've built a foundation that your body is ready to respond to and will respond faster because you don't have to start from scratch. You've been working a process already. Okay, it's crazy. It's awesome. Start to pick one and work towards it. All the other ones will come along. They'll be like like little stragglers, paparazzi following you around everywhere you go. When you're ready to grab one, you just grab that one and work on it, all right? You move one from one pile to the other, okay? It's crazy, it's awesome. Those, That's it, guys, those are the three basics, okay? Um, and I don't even remember what I said. Um, you wanna make sure that you are picking something that is detailed, right? So your goal needs to be detailed. Okay, you need to understand that there's always going to be challenges, accept it, and then make sure that you pick something out of the pile of the list. Don't get bogged down in the list of all the things that you want to get done. Just pick something. Once you pick it and you start working on it, remember and realize that other things are going to follow along and it's going to build your, your success is going to go faster because you're doing something that's moving you forward and other things are going to get improved kind of on the side. Right. Everything we do for our body to make our body better is going to make all aspects of what we need to do better. So when you pick that push up, when you pick that running a mile, when you pick that um, going on a five mile hike or 10 mile hike or whatever else it may be, that's all going to be better because of the one other thing that you focused your attention on. OK, um, does anybody have any thoughts, questions? It, it's simple, guys. It's really simple. Don't let it bog you down. Accept the challenge. Right. Does anybody have any Anything that um, maybe they've been wondering about, like they have something they want to work out, they're not sure what they want to do, whatever it is. I don't know. Let's see if we can get more answers in here. Looking for comments. The last comment I have is Renee talking about a patient. Is that the last comment? I don't know. Can I just make this big? I'll zoom it in. And I can see comments live. Uh, see here now we got comments. Uh, thank you for the happy birthdays, everybody. I see those. All right, that's it. All right, guys. Um, as always, if you have any thoughts or comments or things that you want to add to this conversation, please put them in the comments. OK, you don't have to get overwhelmed with all the things that you feel like you can't do. You can do anything. Um, just pick one and focus on it. OK, scaling, as always, is something that uh, what where do we find your pull up progression videos? Um, Alana, if you just go to YouTube, okay, here's a tip. Here's a tip. 
if you want to find any of my videos, guys, you should be able to go to my channel and just search within the channel for pull-ups and they should come up. If that doesn't work, because I've had issues with doing it myself, you can just do a general YouTube search, just search for the exercise and then put in the Apex training system and it should find it, right? So you're looking for that and then the Apex training system, that's the name of my channel. So it should look for those words, which is the name of the channel plus the exercise you're looking for and it should find it. Alana, if you can't find it, let me know and I'll track it down and shoot the link out, okay? Um, Claire, limited by focusing on my PT exercises as first priority has it. Yes, absolutely. Particularly, guys, this is a really big issue when someone is coming back from an injury because you got in your head um, all these different things that um, you used to be able to do, right? I'm trying to do these and I feel like I can't because I'm hurt. The number one priority when you're coming back from an injury is recovery from the injury. OK, rule of thumb, if you've been injured for a month, it should take you two months before you get fully back to where you think you should be. OK, if you've been injured for a month, I don't want you to try to do anything that you did before that injury for two months. Double the time, guys. Take your time and work back. The last thing you want to do is extend recovery because you re-injured something and now you got to go back. Re-injuries can often be worse than the initial injury. OK, take your time. Don't rush it. Focus on you. You, you, you are more important than anything that uh, you want to do in the gym or exercise or whatever else. OK, take care of yourself. Um, let's see. I'm going to, you know, Alana, just because you asked, I'm going to see if I can find it for you. You were looking for pull up. Uh, da, 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 pull up progression. Alana, did you want the pull-up progression modifications? Like, what specifically were you looking for? I'm going to see if I have it. And I'm, I think I can add it in the chat. Right? I could spell my own channel. Um, okay, so Alana, I found pull ups and modifications. Is that the one you're looking for? Or were you looking for band modifications for pull ups and ring rows? Those are the two that have the most options. There's a couple other ones that are individual. Jumping pull-ups, skipping pull-ups, tempo pull-ups, self-assisted pull-ups, and things like that. So I'm not sure which one you're looking for. Let me see if you said any, anything over here. Not yours, aggression specifically. I found the scale one. Um, I don't know if I have a progressions one. But if you type in pull-up the Apex training system, then one, two, three, four, five, six different videos should pop up that are about pull-ups. And you can tell me if that's either of the ones. If you're looking for something different, let me know and I'll put a video together to, that's specifically for what you're looking for, okay? Um, in most cases, this is a general information for everybody too. In most cases, modifications or scales are a progression for an exercise. So if you look at my video that says pull-ups and modifications, or um, that's probably the one that's got the most, most options in it. So I have a video called pull-ups and modifications. If you look at that video, it's got negative pull-ups, it's got ring rows, it's got different things. Those can all be used to help you improve your actual strict pull-up. All right, so that, that's, they're kind of the same. Modifications can be progressions. Um, there's also some other ones that I have, the self-assisted, can be used. Um, band, banded pull-ups can be used. So there's a bunch of different modifications you can use to train yourself to actually do the exercise. All right. So I hope that answers that that gives you what you're looking for, Alana. Again, if you need something different, just let me know. And I'll put it together for you. Does anybody else have any questions? If not, that will be it for the night. As always, guys, fantastic stuff. 
Um, have a good Memorial Day weekend. All right. You guys hope you're hopefully getting out doing something fun. Pools open up. Right. So get to pools, get to some pools, get some sun. Hopefully the weather's nice for everybody. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. All right. Take it easy.